Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a wet, dark day happening so far this morning. It's supposed to clear up a little bit as the day goes on. We will see. We've got some water coming down. Not a lot of solar coming in. And I want to revisit that nine bus bar per cell solar panel system that we've introduced to the systems out here and see how it matches up against the old five bus bar per cell system. So I'm out here at the new array that's been being constructed over the past several days. Up here on the top string, 12 volt, 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels from New Power. This bottom string, also 12 volt, 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels by New Power. The top ones are what they call their old classics. They have worked well. I have a bunch of them out in production out here. They have all exceeded their rating to some degree and have worked absolutely perfectly. And then they just recently introduced this new uh, nine bus bar per, per cell technology. And they're claiming that it's even more efficient uh, than their classic version. So I've been running them for several days now and I can give you some numbers on what the real difference is. And I'll give you a close look. So here's the new These are the new nine bus bar and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bus bars per cell. And then if I come up to the old classic version, you can see one, two, three, four, five. Five per cell. Five per cell, nine per cell. And like I said, I've been using these for uh, a couple of years at least now in various applications. They have worked extremely well out here for these kind of conditions that we get out here. A lot of cloudy conditions, uh, rain and sunshine throughout almost each and every day. And you can see the panels are a little wet right now. And here's a different look. So that top four are uh, tied in series going to uh, one power center that I'm using. And then these six down here are tied in series and they're going to that uh, new 48 volt battery we've been testing for the past couple of weeks or so. And the sun is just now starting to come out. And I'm gonna be able to go to the log because both of these are uh, going into Victron charge controllers, which makes it real convenient to go in and, and get the stats on what's happening and how they compare. So if we look over the past week or so of that six panel string tied in series with the nine bus bar per cell, which is their newer version of cells, you can see it's been kind of a mixed bag of of solar conditions. Uh, the lowest right here, a 700 watt hour day, and the highest on that day right there is well, 1.57 kilowatt hours in a day. But you can see that it has been getting up to uh, full absorption and float several times so all in all pretty good but as you can see a little up and down depending on the conditions and hopefully you'll be able to see this but i'll read over what the the maximum wattage that was allowed in on that six string array here yesterday saw 643 watts briefly and i have to say that that's after the panels have been covered 
uh, in clouds and they cool off and then the sun bursts out and it quickly jumps over the rated capacity. But even with sustained sunshine, uh, they're producing over 600 watts. So that's really good. The highest in the past week that I've seen did see 676 watts very briefly. And like I said, once that sun comes out, out and starts warming those panels up again, uh, that drops down as a lot of you know. But a lot of you might not know that uh, as the panels warm up, the wattage goes down a little bit. But even when it's under full sun and everything's warm, they're running right at the rated value. It's under these cool conditions like this day saw 630 watts. This day never saw over 535, but it was a very low charging day anyway. So under ideal conditions, they do produce more than they are rated at. And even ever so briefly, what was it? That 676 watts on this day several days ago. So pretty impressive there. And we'll look at the old classic ones and see how they do under this same week of observation. And so here's that four panel string, which would be 400 watts of the old classic version. And just as a reminder, all these panels are rated, have the same 100 watt rating, and they have all worked very well. Uh, you know, I have a lot of these old classics working and they work well. And if I go to the highest wattage I saw on that same array, so the exact same conditions, uh, the highest I saw was 421 watts on this day, 421 watts on this day, and that would be under those same conditions where they were shaded for a while, they cooled off, were of course not getting their rated specifications during that kind of a condition, and then the sun burst out and it briefly went up to 421 watts. There's a 423 watt day. So that was the highest in the whole week, 423 watts briefly on those 400 watts worth of a string set up. So uh, you can see that there is a difference between the nine bus bar per cell and these, the old classic five bus bar per string. Now under ideal conditions, they still do all produce uh, what they're rated at. And of course, as they get a lot of sunshine and if it's a real hot day, they can go under production. You know, you can, this could go under 400 watts for sure, as well as the other one would go under 600 watts. So I have to say that the nine bus bar is out producing uh, to some degree these five bus bar per cells. I'm still very happy with both of them, but I wanted to try that nine bus bar per cell array in panels just to see how big of a difference there was. And there is a difference. And just to give you a real time view right now, <laughs> to give you an understanding of what I'm talking about, uh, it's darkened up quite a bit. 64 watts coming in off that 400 watt string. And We'll click on the 600 watt string, which is the nine bus bars per cell, and still very dark and only 96 watts coming in. So that's kind of how it goes out here. Uh, and now the panels are very cool. It's a fairly cool day. I've got a ambient temperature in this room right now of 78 degrees. But when the sun hits those panels, uh, in full sun, that will spike up way over 600 watts. And like I showed you before, I've seen as high as 676 watts even coming off that 600 watt string. So that just gives you an idea of how they fluctuate in heat, shaded conditions, and that kind of a thing. So there is a difference. Uh, these are out producing the old classics, however uh, little that actually may be. And of course, it's really hard to catch it in real time a lot of times, but uh, 
a lot, I see a lot of various companies now are putting out these nine bus bar per cells. The, the one thing I'll mention is there's no difference in price between the old classics up here and these newer version of the nine bus bar per cells. So I'm gonna keep adding some of these to go along with that 48 volt system. And then I do have plenty of these as well that I've just liked and they have just worked like, like troopers all along. So yeah, so what did I see? The highest on this 600 watt string briefly and here comes the sun right now. So it's probably spiking up if I was to be watching it on the, the Victron app. So we saw about what, 676 at one point on this. Of course, it doesn't stay there very long. The longer the sun stays up and the panels start warming, it starts dropping down. But the other day I did see nice sustained sunshine on this panel. It was producing, oh, 610 watts. And, <clears throat> and then up here on the 400 watt string, you know, it was maybe 400 in a couple of watts, 402, 403. So these are slightly outproducing under ideal conditions than the old classics. So it seems to be true what they say. They're a little more efficient. Uh, they are working great. You know, all in all, there's not a, a great deal of difference, but the fact that these are the same price as those. Um, yeah, I'm liking that nine, nine bus bar per cell technology. So gonna stay with them for a little while. And here comes the sun. Which means, must be time for me to go and see how much is coming in. <laughs> Aloha, everybody.